Hi guys, welcome to this video about the N22 benchmark test of the Dragon Touch M7 Android tablet. Here we have the box, here we have the tablet and we have already the result. If you just want to see the number, that's the number. Uh, here we can also see the details, CPU, GPU, uh, memory and whatsoever, all the values here if you want to see them regarding the hardware I don't know how they came up with 11 inches that's definitely not true I also doubt the 9000 milliampere hours battery but uh, this is what they say here it's definitely a 7 inch tablet only and here we have the ranking so that's the comparison so nowadays uh, the fastest uh, smartphones Android they co come up to 500,000 so it's they are about uh, 10 times faster than this device when we go down we don't even find uh, a lot of uh, similar things so here's the only uh, one uh, the Redmi uh, 4x which is the closest and it still has uh, almost double the uh, value double the speed so it's a very lonely thing but I have found online some things uh, from these days we even find UI tablets we find Lenovo tablets I mean main brands which are also that low and usually they cost even I've seen listings uh, for about $150 this is $70 so um, yeah I mean speed with tablets is always a bad thing uh, usually tablets are compared to smartphones usually rather slow I don't know why this is so you have seen all the values and I'm now going to run this test again if you want to see the full test maybe uh, you find something interesting I zoom in a little bit uh, here you see that hope it shows everything yeah here we are yeah I had stopped it I thought it had stopped but uh, yeah maybe we put it on the side so it's a little bit mirroring unfortunately so I'll open that a little bit hope you still can see I'll make it a little bit darker So maybe the visibility is now a little bit better but you get an impression what it's capable to do so this animation definitely doesn't run really well and so you can imagine how games will be this is some kind of yeah a simulated game but uh, yeah frame rate and everything is really really bad i hope it's continuing here yeah it obviously had to load new parts yeah when the thing uh, runs a little bit i tell you a little bit about my experience uh, it was so slow this tablet i even had a lot of possible a uh, lot of problems making pictures outside the main camera is a 2 megapixel camera in the front it's not bad at all it makes really good pictures for a 2 megapixel camera it's one of the best 2 megapixel cameras I've ever seen it has accurate colors really night wise balance at least during daytime I haven't made many shots during the night so I can't tell you uh, but the selfie camera is definitely, yeah, it's probably 0.3 megapixels, something like that. I mean, you can uh, make a selfie for, uh, like, uh, if you want to use that for a small thumbnail, uh, like uh, for Facebook. But uh, it, it's really bad. I mean, it's really slow as well. I've already installed or tried to install some games. I had it like uh, i mean i have tested or i tried to test this tablet uh, some time ago like two weeks ago or so and i installed i think it was something like pubg need for speed couple of things 
and yeah, they completely failed. All the uh, games got stuck and I couldn't restart the tablet and then I hit the reset button and uh, after that it didn't even turn on anymore. It was totally, uh, yeah, it was just black screen, nothing, no, not even LED, no, nothing. It was that completely after rebooting. I mean, it was stuck during the game and I uh, just tried to reboot and uh, it totally destroyed this tablet so I sent it in for replacement and uh, yeah so it came back now at least it's working again as you can see here yeah, it's still working first yeah we had GPU test now memory then it uh, CPU and UX and yeah it takes a while so I can keep talking here while you're watching the screen if you're interested uh, I think the tablet itself the build is really good it seems to be really strong it makes a good impression looks really fancy but the border I mean on the side it's almost an inch on the side it's crazy I mean it looks like a tablet from 10 years ago the screen itself is good it's bright I mean it the resolution is very very limited I think it's 600 to 1000 pixels which uh, is definitely yeah something from the past but uh, you, you still see i mean yeah you can read your emails and uh, do a little bit of browsing no problem with that should be capable to do that but with games i mean they suggest gaming at least for children definitely not the latest games but a little bit of gaming or learning for children I don't know if that even works I will try that too in a separate video this is just the N22 video and I will test other things in other videos um, yeah so I was not super excited uh, till now about this tablet because it really failed completely and I haven't been able to even reset uh, without destroying at least I got it back I don't know if I got my tablet back it got stickers in the back and the front it looked somehow like new when I looked at it did yeah I, I mean the whole box and everything definitely didn't look like new so I think they just clean it put new stickers on it and reset it and send it back to me so yeah i mean i'm good with that it's probably just my tablet no problem with that or returns from other people yeah could be as well i don't know how long this lasts this is pretty slow definitely i mean you can change the font size i have already changed it you can change the font and the appearance and everything so it looks a little bit bigger so you can still uh, read this thing really nicely if you choose a little bit larger letters and um, yeah I mean of course the limitation of the resolution is still here but you can you can read that the brightness is really good I was surprised outside direct sunlight if you want to just uh, have it as a like a reader or something like that outside or just check emails and browse a little bit yeah it, it, I think it, it works really good brightness is good I mean compared to other things on this tablet the I mean the build is good the brightness is good uh, that's definitely at least positive things but it, it's quite heavy yeah I mean uh, yeah when you take into account the uh, the rim or the board here it's about I don't know how much it is maybe 20 30 percent of the whole tablet is just board and not screen I mean that's additional weight they could easily build a tablet these days with just more or less the screen and that would means you would uh, get at least 20 or 30 percent less of the weight but of course it would be more expensive no doubt about that so is yeah we are at 58 percent didn't know that this takes so long but i mean if you want to see that i keep going 
Or is it maybe stuck even at the moment? I don't see any kind of progress here anymore. But we have time. We have still plenty of battery. I mean, it's not plugged in, but I think we have same speed uh, if it's plugged in or if it's just running on battery. I don't think we have a difference like this sometimes with laptops where they reduce the speed when they run on battery. They go into battery savings mode. I mean, we definitely have plenty of battery. Uh, it was, I think, in the 90-90% or something like that. So it's totally stuck here. Ah, oh, no, we see some progress. Yeah, finally. Counting up. Yeah, the thing is, Dragon Touch. Um, yeah, when we, when we talk about the brand Dragon Touch, I mean, it's not a premium brand. Dragon Touch is some kind of, I would say, it's not a total no name. I have seen already, a, I mean, or I have already a couple of things from them. I have two uh, action cameras. One is super cheap. I mean, that's a package for $30 with everything. You get even two extra batteries, uh, charging station and everything, $30 or $35. And but you can imagine how the quality is. There's absolutely no stabilization, no nothing. But I mean, you can use it. I mean, thirty-five dollars is everything. Yeah, you cannot complain. And then I bought another one for about I think it's ninety dollars. It's a four K, um, it's four K action camera. It's supposed to compete against the uh, GoPro, of course. And the, the resolution is pretty good. I mean, it's I think it's pretty. Uh, it, it, it's really 4K, native 4K. When I checked single frames, single images out of the 4K video and compared it to the GoPro, I couldn't see any difference really. I mean, the single frames are on same quality, and it's it's surprisingly good. And everything works and the battery lifetime is even much longer than with a GoPro with same uh, battery charge. But there's a reason for that because I think the GoPro does not only uh, need a lot of battery for to prepare the video, I mean like uh, to make the coding of the video, but uh, GoPro I think uses most of the battery and CPU to stabilize the video and that's where they are amazing I mean with these latest levels with GoPro uh, Hero Black 7 and 8 they are on a really amazing level uh, it, it's close to a gimbal or whatsoever I mean that's crazy the stabilization and the wide angle and uh, that that that's really good and the dragon touch 4k uh, the stabilization is horrible i mean that there is some kind of stabilization but but maybe it's comparable to the oldest uh, uh really the very first uh gopro uh, i mean I, i've never had an old gopro but uh, this is what i think i mean the Stabilization is not really, it's there, but I mean, it's uh, not, not even closely comparable to a GoPro. So I don't actually recommend it. If you, if you want to have a cheap, good quality, uh, like action camera, I would definitely suggest to go with the like GoPro Hero Black 5 or something like that. I mean the 5, I think that's the first one which has the waterproof housing built in and that means that you have a good sound quality. That's the first action camera, I think, which was out and it was $400, something like that, or even $500. Now you can get it, I think even half a year ago or so, they started dropping the price and I think you can get it around $150 or maybe even cheaper. So it's basically a $50 difference between the 
uh, best dragon touch action cam. Yeah, I don't know if there's something going on. I mean, yeah, the video was stopped now for about five minutes. I run out of storage on the camera, unfortunately. And so I couldn't finish my sentence regarding the Dragon Touch and GoPro cameras, but I think most of it was uh, said already. And so I'm not continuing to talk and waste your time. I think I'm just going to accelerate the rest of the video. I it will probably take quite a while so I'll keep recording but the rest at least the part which is super boring I will definitely uh, speed up like uh, to a uh, five or ten times or even faster video acceleration and yeah so we will see the whole thing actually but a little bit faster Okay, yeah, <laughs> it's already done. So I rotate the thing here. Yeah, right at the moment when I thought, yeah, it's going to take hours, it finished. And oh, what does it? What's it? No, it's still running. What is it doing? Yeah, just watching uh, web pages. Yeah, like uh, I think it's it it's really part of the game, part of the testing. Yeah, that's interesting. So you can see how things work. Maybe screenshots and those things. QR code tests. Yeah, it's quite interesting. I've never seen that the whole thing. It's the first time I'm watching a whole and to to benchmark test and looks like we are really closing close to the end so i'm not doing what i've been talking about like this um fast forward i let it run here normal because i think it's pretty close to the end we are at 99 percent yeah and yeah, again we are at 41,563 and we are defeating 1% of the other user, that's not bad, there are even some poor other guys who have slower tablets, ha ha ha, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it is as it is, so uh, as you can see uh, uh, or have been able to see that was the whole test and yeah, we can do something with this tablet but not much. If you are interested in more videos just yeah subscribe to my channel and make sure that you're not missing the videos and check or search in my channel for more videos about the dragon touch if you're interested or if you're still interested to buy this thing i'm not saying you cannot buy i mean the good thing is really about this tablet uh, to make a few final positive words here it seems to have no bloatware no nothing it's a clean android installation no nothing in here uh, if we go back and show you that that's what we get here here yeah here you see the apps here we have the apps there's not more this is uh, everything what we get i mean i have been installing the and to the benchmark the asphalt uh, yeah the need for speed and the fake tablet review detector you can't even see that here why is it not here anymore uh, but i have already done this testing here is the fake test and it haven't detected anything fake like it looks like everything is good so it's not fake android it is an android 9 and 
uh, everything is correctly st as stated the CPU the resolution everything is as normal and no fake and no nothing as far as this app has been able to detect which is really good device is reporting um, Android version 9 and it passed as you can see it is an Android version 9 which is a lot I mean sometimes you need just a tablet with a new version a lot of these cheap uh, good actually good all uh, tablets which you buy from Chinese manufacturers I mean they come really cheap they have higher resolution maybe sometimes even they have a fast CPU and they come and say they have uh, Android version 8 or 9 or 10 and so and then you go to this fake test and they say yeah you have basically probably Android 4.4 4.4 and you can go to the Play Store and the Play Store will tell you you can't install 90% of the apps because your Android version is too low this shouldn't be the case here that's good so far so I'm ending here I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time